nine years ago, we started with uh, five people, about 17,000 inherited customers. And now we have uh, over 14 and a half million customers, about 2,500 people working for the company. It's changed a lot, you know, it's changed from being a startup where you knew everybody and you're involved in every single major decision or every decision you're, you're and to, to a company where it's a big company. It's a, I wouldn't say it's a mature company, but it's a different company now where you cannot know everybody and you, or your role is more now at a strategic level rather than at a day-to-day -day operational level. So the role has changed, but it's still an exciting job. It's still a very, we're still a very high, a very high growth company. And so there's still lots of new things to do. So it's still interesting. There's no real one secret to how, at least how, how, how you're successful. I mean, there are many reasons for it. But I think one of the key reasons for our success is that all of our products and services are aimed at the man in the street, truly the man in the street. We don't design our products and services for the top level or for the very specific the bottom level. We aim it for the general population. Can it be used by them? Will it be used by them? Will, will they need it and will they use it? And I think that is one of the reasons for our success. So if you look at our Impesa, it's really designed for the man in the street, for the taxi driver, for the, 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 the worker, the, the laborer, and everything. And now everybody uses it. So, but it was specifically designed, designed for that element. And the same with our various uh, voice production services and, and data products. You know, I think it's still going to grow. I think we still have a lot of growth left. We have a lot of growth in the voice market. Okay, not. As, as strong in revenue as it, as it used to be, but we still only 40% penetration of the market. 60% of Kenyan's population is under the age of 16, and that market is not penetrated yet. So voice has still got a long way to go, but I see the growth really coming from data. Not just from corporate data, but from consumer data. You know, less than 5% people have access to a computer. Less than 10% have access to the internet. So there's a huge potential there. Uh, and I see that's where the strength and, and that's where the growth is going to come from in the future. Well, okay, firstly, there's a couple of, in, there's a couple of Indian models. One Indian model is you we have a low price and your minutes will double or triple. If in India, you look, they, they reduced the price by, by you know, to one-tenth and the number of minutes went up a hundred times. It will never happen in Africa. Well, let me say, it will never happen in our part of Africa. People are conservative, they just don't have the same spending habits or the same talking habits. So that part of the Indian model probably will never work where I come from anyway. In terms of outsourcing, I think there are pros and cons for outsourcing. I've been through outsourcing, it was not successful. When you outsource, you're outsourcing a significant uh, risk for your, of your business and you hope that the outsourcing partner is going to deliver the goods. If they do not deliver the goods, you suffer the damages and then you have to try to fix the damages. So the, 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 the problem has, been, has already occurred. If you keep it in, in, inside, you can manage it much better. And so you, you, there are pros and cons for it. I would be very reluctant to outsource any of my network to anybody else because I believe I can manage it better, I can manage it cheaper. Maybe, no, the, maybe the direct cost will be higher, but the indirect, if you add the indirect costs, I think it, it's still better to keep it in-house. Some areas can be outsourced. At one point, we considered outsourcing our customer care. And we, we traveled around the world, we got international bids for our customer care, and in the end, we can do it better in-house. And you know, that's what we chose to do. So I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of, of outsourcing. It's had some impact. It hasn't had as severe impact as it had on other markets. I, and it's, it's peculiar that it hasn't because it should have. Because we export, we're an ex exporting country. We don't export commodities. We export, our biggest export is horticultural products. We're a big tourism, uh, the second biggest big earner is tourism. Tourism has fall, fallen by 40 to 60% over the last year. Uh, horticultural products went down 20 to 30%. So we should have been impacted a lot more than what we were. But I think it's because Kenyans generally tend to be quite industrious and we generally still get on with things. Even though we had high food inflation, 18%, we were more impacted by severe droughts and food shortages than we were by the world international uh, crisis. I, I think this year is, is great. You know, I think this is, a, this is the premier, uh, in my opinion, this is the premier event in the world. If you want to, I, I, don't, I think even if you look at it from an, a worldwide point of view, not just from an African point of view, because it, it's small enough, uh, to, to meet everybody, to see everything, to see new developments. You meet a lot of people. Uh, 
uh, I've been coming here since we had it, I think, in a hotel room in our first year in downtown. Uh, and I think it's, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic uh, uh, event. And I think it, it, it's grown now to where, this, the, in my opinion, I think the format should change. I think we've outlived the format and it should change to a, a different kind of format. I don't think we should go towards the, the Barcelona model, you know, where we just have this massive event and, and, and speaking speakers all over the place, you know, you can't keep up. But I think do think we need to become much more relevant because Africa is, is different. It's not the same as everywhere else. And we are entering a phase where we've had all the big growth We've, uh, you know, it's easy, to, kind of relatively easy to make money. We're now entering the more difficult phase, and I think we need to look at that and how do we, how do we learn to, to, to deal with what, what is still a massive potential in the marketplace? Because the potential is there, and, and I think if you look at the Indian, uh, there are a lot of great products coming from India, some fantastic products that they have there, which I think, you know, we can use in, 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 in Africa. Um, I think similarly that you see from the Middle East and, and, and now from China as well, where, where, where there are great products out there that are particularly suited to the African model. I don't think you see a lot of great products coming from Europe that, that really we can really use here because we have a different kind of per people. So I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's right. But I think we have to be careful that, and, and my view is, is very strong, we have to be careful that we don't become patronizing in terms of our products. Because a product works in India, or China, or Israel, or wherever it may be, it doesn't necessarily mean it will work here. We have to be, be careful that, you know, we, are, we have an individual people, with individualistic personalities and characters, and we need to cater for that. And I think we have to, that's our view, we always want to take a product that is needed and will be used. There's no point in having fancy products and nobody uses the damn thing. You know, it needs to be, people need to want to use it. And I think every year there's more and more, and I think that's great. We see a lot of new things, particularly a show like this, we see, meet a lot of new people with new ideas. You know, we went from one extreme to another extreme. I think now in the last two years, I think in particular, people are more concentrating on what's really needed rather than what's been used elsewhere.